Today I'm redesigning this space to create my dream productivity setup, but first, let's see what we're starting with. The editing station, vertical shelf, horizontal shelf, and a desk for unboxing. Now you may be thinking to yourself, isn't that good enough? No. You see, the problem is this room just doesn't make me feel productive, and it causes me to procrastinate. It's totally the room's fault, not me. It's the room. There's three things that I want to change with this room. Number one, it's got to be aesthetically pleasing. Because according to the Google search I did literally 10 seconds ago, aesthetically pleasing rooms can reduce stress and increase productivity. Number two is to make it more efficient. I do a lot of filming in here, so I want to be able to shoot in any direction and have it look good. And I want any piece of equipment that I own available and properly organized. And number three, I don't know what number three is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out along the way. So by the end of this video, our productivity levels need to go from here all the way to Elon Musk because he's the most productive man in the world, right? Let's get started by getting rid of this table and building the cabinet. And before you ask just because I'm getting rid of it doesn't mean you can have it. Please stop asking me for stuff on TikTok. So instead of a desk, we're gonna put a cabinet here for storage. I picked this cabinet up from Ikea, so now we have to build it. I, I love building Ikea furniture, it's so much fun. All right, just for the record, it's 8.08 p.m. and I wanna see how long this is gonna take me to build because I can be an idiot. Jeez, dude, just unboxing this thing is gonna take like three hours. This next part says I need a friend and I don't have any. It's 11.52 p.m. Even though I'm tired and hungry, I think it makes sense if we just spend a couple more hours here and get everything done. Welcome to Waterburger, man. Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in day two of building the productivity setup. Next, we're going to turn this desk back into an L desk. But first, we're gonna get rid of this shelf here in the back. And if you're asking, oh, Sidlon, why can't you just finish it all in one day? I work a full-time job. The only time I have to do stuff like this is at night, and I'm just slow. After removing the shelf, I have to clear out the entire desk. And to turn it back into an L, I have to take apart the entire desk. That's because I have to reattach this third leg. And by the time I put the desk back together, it was pretty messy in here and it was getting pretty late. Which now brings us to day three. We have the desk set up. Now, before we get the PC and monitors back on, I figured we'd hang these pegboards, which are gonna go right above the monitors. I wanna hang up some tech on here, as well as some easy to grab equipment for when I'm filming my videos. All right, now that we have these pegboards up, we can finally bring the PC and monitors back. However, we are gonna change one thing. It's kind of sad, but we're gonna retire the 49 inch monitor. The other day, I actually went to Micro Center to pick up a 34 inch monitor. We're downsizing, but I think this monitor size is gonna fit much better, especially with the LG Dual Up. Boom. Um, I lost the last screw, but I'm sure it'll be fine. That already looks so much cleaner in my opinion. Let's see if we could fit the dual up right next to it. And this is looking clean, but now we gotta plug in all the cables and this time I am doing cable management, so don't worry. I got clips and double-sided tape and thankfully this table actually came with a cable tray. I mounted a power strip using the double-sided tape and after that, let me tell you, I was dialed in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 1.35 a.m. But the only thing I have left now is decoration, so I may as well stay up the rest of the night. Today should be the last day because all we have left is decoration. Let's start by adding things to the pegboards. I got a bunch of pegboard attachments from Ikea. The goal for the pegboards is to hang up some filming equipment while also sprinkling in some personality for decorations. I also picked up three Ruba frames from Ikea and last night I hung them up, but I only have two pieces of artwork. So I had to improvise and this is what I'm gonna have for now. I didn't get real plants because like my dreams, they always die. So I got some fake ones. And just for some additional lighting, Godox sent me a light tube that I'm gonna put in this corner here. I also got this card from Target just for some extra storage. Just a few days ago, this room was looking like this and now looks like this. All right, we're finally done and I'm super happy about how this turned out. Everything feels so much cleaner while mixing in some practicality being able to film unboxings or talking heads right here and then going straight into editing, having my aperture light over here. And we have two light bars in each corner. If we ever need them, we could just pull them out and use them. Otherwise, they're pretty nice decorations. I can feel the productivity flowing through my veins. I'm gonna get so much work done now. Now, the one thing I wish I could upgrade is the PC. It gets the job done, but it's kind of ugly. But we'll get there eventually. So if you guys wanna see that in a YouTube video, leave a like. And with that being said, let's go get some work done. Subscribe.